US Department of Energy has a specific list of the most efficient electric vehicles that have the highest MPGE and Tesla tops the list. Let's see who comes next. The Tesla Model 3 Rear Wheel Drive is the most efficient electric vehicle on the Department of Energy's highest miles per gallon electric list, MPGE list, for model year 2022 electric vehicles. Tesla Model Y with a slight lag, Model S and Model X entered the list as well. The US Department of Energy has published this list with the highest MPG for electric vehicles for the year 2022, for the 2022 model year. It includes 17 electric vehicle models that have achieved an Environmental Protection Agency's cumulative rating of 100 miles per gallon equivalent, MPGE. 100 miles per gallon equivalent or higher. Among those 17 models, there were a total of 37 unique configurations that achieved 100 miles per gallon equivalent or higher. That's MPGE. So the MPGE is a unit of measure used by the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, to represent electric vehicle fuel economy in a common unit with gas-powered vehicles. So you have something to compare, where 33.7 kilowatt hours of electricity are equal to the energy contained in one gallon of gasoline. The Tesla Model 3 in rear-wheel drive R, uh, RWD configuration achieved the highest rating with 132 miles per gallon equivalent. This indicates the best efficiency in the segment, which automatically makes it the best choice for those who aspire to drive an electric vehicle with the best range. The constant improvements applied by the manufacturer to their vehicles ensure the best results over the year. After Model 3, Lucid Air is second on the list with an efficiency of 131 miles per gallon equivalent. Right after it, in third place is Tesla Model Y with 129 miles per gallon equivalent. In fourth place with 120 miles per gallon equivalent, there are three models, Tesla Model S, Chevrolet Bolt EV and Hyundai Kona Electric. Tesla Model X also made the list in the 17th place with 102 miles per gallon equivalent, the last place. The great news is that the industry continues to evolve and several other electric vehicle manufacturers have joined Tesla to create the most efficient vehicles. So good competition is coming and that means more choices for you and me. The better and more economical electric vehicles are, the more people will want to switch them, which will significantly accelerate the world's transition to environmentally friendly vehicles. This means clean air, less oil, hopefully less wars because of oil in the world and particularly in the Middle East and hopefully improvements in our lives. So what do you think about all of this improvement, friends? Let me know, please, in your comment section below. Share this with your friends. This is good news. And at least people will have some more ideas what type of electric vehicles to choose when they make their choices to buy their next vehicle. We have some fresh news about Tesla Giga Shanghai and its future plans despite what I reported yesterday. There is a fresh information. So Tesla will not yet push for max output at Giga Shanghai, say sources. Tesla has finished the upgrades on the plant and is ramping up production but may cap it about 93% through the end of 2022 despite what I reported yesterday based on sources that it will add another 33% capacity. So Tesla just completed notable upgrades at its Giga Shanghai factory in China. It had still been in the process of ramping up production prior to the upgrades and now it has the potential to ramp up much more quickly and efficiently. However, sources familiar with the matter shared that Tesla won't likely exceed 93% production capacity through the end of 2022. If you remember yesterday, I reported that Tesla may add additional 33% to that. So Yahoo Finance reports that two people familiar with the knowledge uh, of the situation elected to remain anonymous. They said they didn't give any reason for Tesla's alleged decision to run the factory below its potential capacity or above its potential capacity. Instead, one source simply said he thought the numbers were below his expectations. Tesla didn't respond to a request to substantiate the story. Usually companies don't respond that quickly. At any rate, the sources explain that Giga Shanghai is capable of producing 8,000 Model 3 sedans and 14,000 Model Y crossovers per week. This is an output that was recently upgraded by some 30%. 
Tesla has been running the factory at full capacity whenever possible, though it was up against lockdowns for three week period earlier this year. Uh, the restrictions impacted the factory's capacity for about two months, and I think that was this summer when China was under strict restrictions. The sources added that even though Tesla had plans to continue to push the China factory to full capacity, it's now decided to produce 20,500 electric vehicles per week. Uh, uh, the people familiar with the plans said Tesla will build 7,500 Model 3s and 13,000 Model Ys per week in Shanghai through the end of 2022. Thanks to ramped up production of electric cars at Giga Shanghai, Tesla has been able to significantly reduce delivery wait times in China. Some buyers could get their car in as little as a week, uh, though it depends heavily on the specific configuration, depending on what configuration you will choose. Tesla has also continued to encourage potential buyers by offering a rebate if they opt for Tesla insurance. The offer is good though, uh, through the end of quarter three, 2022. By the way, Tesla expects great quarters. Over the course of the first eight months of 2022, Tesla sales in China have soared by almost 60%. Keep in mind, Tesla China is also the company's primary export hub, exporting even to Taiwan. Uh, no, that comes from Giga Berlin. According to Yao Finance, of the vehicles Tesla manufactures in China, 60% are sold domestically, while the other 40% are exported to places like Japan, New Zealand and Australia. Although Taiwan is just next door, uh, the Tesla vehicles, Tesla Model 3, Model Ys to Taiwan will come from Gigafactory Berlin because of political uh, situation. So let me know your thoughts about uh, what do you think should be the output from Giga Shanghai by the end of this year? What numbers do you expect? Or how do you think Tesla is generally doing with its new Giga factories, Giga Berlin and Giga Texas? Um, going strong, ramping up production, Giga Shanghai going really well, and also Tesla thinking about new Giga factories. And when you think, where do you think Tesla will build its next Giga factory? Canada or elsewhere? Tesla is doing it again after abandoning it for a while. What it is? While Elon Musk has mentioned in the past that Tesla would be avoiding its insane end of quarter delivery initiatives, Tesla is at it again and doing the same thing, but this time differently. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next uh, uh, report. The end of the third quarter is coming and Tesla's electric vehicle factories are at full throttle. This includes the Fremont factory, which is filled with vehicles that are ready to be delivered to Tesla customers. And a lot of customers are eagerly waiting for their Tesla to arrive. Flyovers of the Fremont factory in recent days indicated that vehicle production is in full swing. Aerial footage taken of the factory last week even showed that the facilities staging area for Model S and Model X were filled with vehicles. A flyover on Monday showed that the area was practically empty, suggesting that the Model S and Model X had been shipped from the factory, which is good news. You have lower inventory. Large number of Model 3 sedans and Model Y crossovers could be seen being shipped from the Fremont factory's logistics lot. This could be seen in last week's and this week's flyovers needless to say the Fremont factory is in an end of quarter push in what appears to be another attempt to achieve record production and delivery numbers while Elon Musk has mentioned in the past that Tesla would be avoiding its insane end of quarter delivery initiatives the challenges of the recent quarters appear to have pushed the company to adopt its now trademark strategy again. This bodes well for the company's quarter three results as the facility is one of Tesla's most productive electric vehicle plants, second only to Gigafactory Shanghai. Yes, indeed, this end of quarter pushes have become like a trademark for and the Tesla brand as a strategy, trademark as a strategy. Uh, while the Fremont factory is no longer Tesla's largest plant by production volume, it is still one of the company's most important facilities. It is the only factory that produces all of the company's vehicles available today. From the Model S and Model X to Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla's other factories such as Giga Berlin and Texas only produce the Model Y for now. By the way, it's becoming one of the best vehicles to buy apparently as I reported yesterday. 
Tesla delivered an impressive 254,695 vehicles in the second quarter, though this number was tempered down by extended COVID-related shutdowns in China. Tesla bulls and analysts both expect more deliveries for quarter three, with estimates from the Tesla community suggesting a potential delivery estimate of about 366,000 vehicles for the third quarter. So things are moving really well apparently in the Fremont factory, as we can see from the flyovers. I, I, by the way, I will have some links in the description of this video of those flyovers so you can see for yourself. So what do you think about this? How important is Fremont factory for Tesla? It's the only factory where Tesla makes its all vehicles right now. Model S, Model X, Model 3, and uh, what was the fourth one? Um, I forgot. I'm sorry, it just slipped my mind. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. I look forward to reading them and responding. Um, and uh, let me know what you think about all of these developments and the quarter three push.